tale from the adventures of Thirtail, Bill, Shark, and Dilly. From where? From, from my book. book. I was, I'm writing it. Yes. So, let's start. First, we draw a V. Like a sideways V. We do a curve. Like a curve. We curve at the bottom. Next we go zoom on S line. This. Then we curve up. Curve up. So now we're gonna do just put in tail spikes. Up more. Then up and curve. Then really long dragon. Then we, we draw a matching line. Next we draw him smiling. We're gonna draw him smiling because he's fair tail, he's always happy. First we draw his eye. <laughs> we curve it up a little bit. Next we do his teeth. His nostril. First here, his nostril. Now his teeth. Zigzag lines. Mm -hmm. Now we'll do his horns. We do an S line. Then matching S line. And then we draw it over. What's this called? Overlapping. Next we draw lines. Cool Evan. Next we draw his wings. So, we draw a curve. And if we are too far, you can always pause the video. Then we do a curve. And that, then we go back, back more, then we go back down here, then we repeat that same step, another T times, like this, yes, then mm -hmm. we connect it into his body, then we draw the skin like in between his back, like yeah. a bat wing. Next we draw another curve matching for the other wing. Next we draw a triangle at the end of his tail. Then we, we draw do poison spikes. Eight or six spikes at the end of his tail. Next we draw his spikes. Small spikes, like this, going all the way down his back. They seem to look a little like he's on fire. Little. Okay, now what are we missing? His legs! He can't be a snake, can he? <laughs> So we do a curve line. Mm -hmm. Curve it like that down. Then curve it back. Then connect. Then repeat that same step two more times. And then we curve back in. Then we do the overlapping. Yes. Then we do the same at the back legs, right? Yes. But maybe a little bigger? No. Okay, then. Same. Now, we do the spikes on the swings. Curve like this. Then curve down. Then we do one here. Curve like this. Curve down. Now we colour him, and now we colour him in. So we're going to need pink and yellow. But we should do it fast so this video doesn't go too long. 
So pink for the spikes as well. Oh, of course. And then the horns you can color grey. And the spikes on his wings, you leave white. Okay. And his claws as well. And it doesn't matter that ours look different. Yeah. The only thing you need to do is have fun. And practice. Yes, of course. And you can pause to match the colouring when we've finished, or you can colour him any colour you want. Him or her? No, but the tail is a him. Yeah. You can make it any dragon. It doesn't have to be thread tail. But we just made it thread tail. Yeah, it is. It's kind of the poison spikes are pink as well, right? His eyes, yellow. <laughs> his eyes are yellow. And his eyes. But that's okay. I can do that. You can pause it now to put in mine, but it's better to wait for him. And if you want, you could even do a background. Like, it's going to cloud in the medium. You could be walking, you could be flying, you could be clouds, and maybe even three suns. <laughs> you can do whatever you like with your own drawings, because it's yours, not anyone else's. If you want to do shark from the book, it's just do like the same, but put a shark tooth with smoke coming out. Like and smoke mm -hmm. coming out of his nostrils. Yeah, and he's like a greyish blue with red in between his wings. Okay? And you can make him looking grumpy, because <laughs> he's usually grumpy. Or you can make him green with glasses. That's right. That's the yeah. And he has what? Have you uh, finished that? Pink in between his wings. Yeah. We finished. To copy your drawings. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.